Every Canadian province is about to be impacted by cold Arctic air. So it's one of the coldest days here in Nova Scotia. About minus 25 degrees, minus 40 with the wind chill. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite cold. Now, today, basically, all we're going to do is uh, see kind of how Ford uh, vehicles start in the cold weather. Again, it's about minus 40 degrees with the wind chill. Uh, so it is extremely cold today. And uh, this actually just happened overnight. Yesterday was about minus 5. Today it's minus 25. So it's a complete cold shift. Uh, basically, we're going to see how Ford vehicles start in this extreme cold weather. Currently showing negative 23 degrees Celsius, feels like minus 36. All right, so I've got a bunch of keys here. Let's, uh, let's go out and start some cars. All right, we've got here a 2022 Mustang Mach 1. Put it up there on the dash. Mach 1, of course, 5 liter V8. Beautifully sounding 5 liter V8 and a nice six speed manual transmission. Give this a try. <laughs> Inland air temp is at negative 18 degrees. Cylinder head is warming up at 11 degrees. We have, of course, all of our gauges here all are zeroed out as far down as they could possibly go. There it is, negative 21 degrees. All right, so we've got another Mustang here. This one is a uh, GT Premium model. Actually, we just got this one in yesterday, so it's uh, it's fresh off the truck. 5 liter V8, and again, also the 6 speed manual transmission. Let's give this one a try. That one was definitely a little bit more rough than the, the Mach 1, but it's going. Cylinder head, negative 12 degrees. Beautiful sounding V8, of course. All right, this one here I'm a little bit more concerned about. Uh, this is a 2023 F750. Um, now this truck's sitting for uh, roughly two weeks now, uh, so we have it's kind of been, it's been waiting for an upfit. So it's kind of just been chilling here for a little bit. Um, again. About minus 35 degrees. We're gonna cycle the glow plugs probably just once. And you see right there, the oil temp is currently minus 23 degrees Celsius. We'll give it a crank. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little rough, but it's going. It's definitely on high idle here. The, you can definitely hear the, uh, the turbo spooling up a little bit. Oil temp is negative 22 degrees Celsius. You can hear she's, uh, she's revving up pretty good here. And F750. 23 model. Yeah, she's cold. Definitely cold. Alright, here we go. We've got another one here. So we got a 2022 F350 XLT. Of course, we do have the diesel engine. Put the key in the ignition here. Okay, let's do one cycle of the glow pug. A little bit low on fuel here, but that's all right. Oil temp, negative 23 degrees. Yeah, it's definitely cold. Here we go. Wow. That was actually impressive. It's running. Feels a little choppy, a little bit rough, but it's going. This temperature here is showing negative 21 degrees. Oil temp is currently 
negative 23 degrees Celsius. All right, we got another F350 right here. This is actually the exact same uh, spec truck as the other uh, vehicle we just did. Camera's even having a hard time focusing here, but all right, we'll put the key in. Again, we'll do one cycle of the, uh, the glow plugs. I'll show you what we have for oil temperature. Negative 22 degrees. Let's fire it up. Similar result as the previous power stroke. Not quite as bad as the F750. She fired up no problem at all. Alright, now we have a 2022 Ford Expedition. This is a platinum model. Uh, it's also the max version, which may not change the outcome, but has the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Now, of course, typically gas vehicles do a little bit better in the cold start compared to a diesel, uh, but we'll see how this goes here. This one's been sitting for probably about, who would say, five, five or six days now. We'll give it a start here. Wow, that one was definitely a little bit sluggish, but I got going. All right, we've got our first 5 liter V8 engine here in an F-150 XLT. Uh, this is a 2023 model as well. We'll uh, see how it goes. Wow, a little bit sluggish as well, but got going. Nice work. All right, so we have our first hybrid. This is a 2023 F-150 XLT with the Power Boost engine. Uh, so it uses a EcoBoost three and a half liter engine and then also that hybrid uh, sort of battery. Now hopefully somebody can uh, chime in here. I'm, I'm curious if, if the 12 volt battery has a low state of charge, will the hybrid battery uh, power the, I guess the starter in this case, if the engine won't be able to crank over, will it use the hybrid battery to uh, to help power the, I guess the 12 volt uh, electronics? Because, well, if the 12 volt battery is dead, then the engine won't be able to crank over. So I'm curious if the, if the hybrid battery will be used to uh, sort of help crank the engine over at all. So hopefully somebody can chime in the comments. If you know anything about that subject, feel free to uh, let us know in the comments below. But without further ado, we'll Crank it up here. Okay, so you can actually see it right there. It says 12 volt battery, state of charge low. It did crank okay. Actually, it cranked pretty good. But it does say it has a 12 volt battery, state of charge low. And again, we're at negative, currently negative 21 degrees. Feels like minus 35, roughly. All right, here we go, another victim. One thing I have noticed is that the seats are basically rock solid. Uh, with the cold weather, they just, I guess, the cloth, the material, the foam material hardens right up. Uh, when you sit on there, quite stiff. Uh, but besides the point, we do have a, another 3.5 liter EcoBoost um, in a 2023 F-150. This one is also an XLT model. This one's been sitting for uh, probably about a week now. Let's fire this thing up. Actually, I'm going to uh, open up the door this time. Maybe we can hear the starter a little more. Hopefully the wind doesn't take it away. All right, let's give this a try. That one was rough. Okay, I gotta close the door because the wind is gonna take it away here. All right, that one was definitely the most sluggish of them all. That one took quite some time to uh, to catch. All right, we're actually gonna shoot one of these from outside the truck this time. This is a, actually one of our used pieces. It's a 22 F350 uh, Lariat Tremor, beautiful truck. We're gonna try and start this from the outside. Hopefully you can hear, we're next, next to the road here, but give it a try. No problem. 
Oh yeah, the seats are a little hard in this one too. Start button here and we'll see what we got on the dash. Yeah, you can see it's, uh, it's building some boost pressure to want to try to warm itself up here. We've got negative 22 degrees Celsius on the engine oil temperature. Negative, one, negative 21 on the transmission. Currently showing negative 19 degrees. Maybe it's warming up a little bit. Maybe we have some hope here. All right, on to the next one. We've got some Mustangs next. All right, let's try this Mustang here. This has the uh, white package or whatever Ford calls it, the white out package. Uh, also an automatic, so we do have remote start. Let's give this one a try. That'll pretty much do it for this video. Uh, it was probably more entertaining than it was informative, but I think one thing that we can take away is just to prepare for climate like this. If you know that there's gonna be cold weather coming up, either plug in the vehicle, uh, which here on an F-150, um, just because I have one in front of me, I can show you, the block heater cord is actually hidden in behind the grill here. So you have a block heater right here that you can use to plug it in and it will make it much, much easier to start up if it's cold like it was today. Um, or if you have a garage, obviously use the garage. Either if it's heated or not, it will help. Or maybe another thing you can do is uh, plug in the battery, use a battery tender of some sort, because uh, the main reason why a vehicle wouldn't start in cold weather is because the battery just doesn't have enough power to, to turn over all the cold, thick oil. Uh, so plug it in if you need to, or plug in the battery. So there's just a couple tips that can maybe help you if you're, if you're in an instance where your vehicle won't start, either if it's a Ford or not. Uh, but that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.